At French Socialist Party headquarters, things are in crisis mode. Dominique Strauss-Kahn was one of their highest profile members and a major contender to lead them to the French presidency next year. That was before he was charged in New York City with the attempted rape of a hotel maid. Now France's biggest opposition party is trying to work out where they go from here. In this period, we need to be even more ourselves, even more united, as we have been for the last three years. We've been through a lot of stages, and we've come together around the essentials, the policies we've put to the French people. We need to stick to them more than ever. The people need them. They're counting on us. With centre-right President Nicolas Sarkozy languishing in the opinion polls, the socialists had thought elections in 2012 would be their time to shine. Now there's a huge question mark over which members will even stand in the primaries. This has led to a total redistribution of the playing cards within the Socialist Party because up until now, Dominic Strauss-Kahn was the favourite candidate. Not only the favourite candidate within the Socialist Party, but the favourite candidate in the country overall to beat Nicolas Sarkozy in next year's presidential elections. The fact that he is now out of the race, or appears almost certain to be out of the race, means that some of the underdogs within the Socialist Party are now saying to themselves, well, that's increased my chances. Maybe I'll be able to be the candidate in the place of Dominic Strauss-Kahn if he'd come back to France to run. With potential candidates now jockeying for position, finding a coherent party line has suddenly become an uphill struggle with elections less than a year away. Dominique Strauss-Kahn is yet to be tried and his lawyers are expecting to argue that any sex was fully consensual. But for his party here in France, the damage may already be done.